keep California cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penny, Rusty and Susie, our bull, and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to drive cart. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve to lay down. Training Eve to harness, pull a log. Training Semi to harness, pull a log on turf. Jumping at liberty to music, making our Morgan horses our partners. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Training on our driveway, which is covered by sand, so we have a straight track. Stepping over poles, jumping over crossbar jumps. Training in our trail obstacles area. Semi on the big steps. Morgan Horse Sadie doing obstacles rainlessly. Semi drives a cart. Sadie pulls a log. Sadie learns to pull a cart. Miniature Zebu Heifer Susie learns to drive a cart. Bull Rusty learns to pull a harrow. Here we show you clips of Eve working with the ATV simulated cow. Uh, today I have uh, some interesting tack on that I may or may not want to use, but you know I wanted to have it on in case I need it because Eve doesn't have too much experience with cow work and working over her haunches. First of all, we have the Australian saddle on, which is kind of a fun saddle to use. It's loaned to Minmore Farms right now. Uh, fun saddle to use because it's like a western saddle but really lightweight and very nicely appointed. We have a breast collar on. A breast collar on just so we're sure that the saddle can't roll off to the sides of the horse even though we've tightened the cinch and also because especially with Eve I like to have available to me in training sessions these double reins and I'm going to ask my camera operator to slowly pan in or zoom in to the rollers that I'm using here, you can see immediately when I very lightly ask Eve for vertical flexion, she immediately gives it to me. These double reins are extremely um, effective uh, in that request. And then as soon as you get the right answer, you uh, either drop the rein and hold on to it or drop the rein and put it on her neck and the pressure is gone, which of course is the reward for giving the right answer. Now I have spurs on. And Eve whoop, isn't real uh, good with spurs. She's kind of afraid of them. So if I use them, they'll be very gently. And what I'll do is just, just see, do you see that? Watch Eve's head. I'm just touching her with the spur. Can you get that, Ryan? Uh, she's very, very sensitive to spurs. But you know when you're doing cow work uh, or simulated cow work, you can't be carrying crops and things like that. You've got too many things to worry about as it is. So I did put the spurs on. Eve just gave me a nice sigh. I think she's being patient. She knows the ATV. We desensitized it uh, uh, for her uh, in our last show. Look uh, on any show with the word ATV in it. And, uh, and if you see Eve, you'll know that uh, we worked with her on not being afraid of this cow simulator. Now this is a kid's ATV. Uh, it's another way to give a moving object target for your horse when you're trying to teach, um, teach them to rate the target and to work over their haunches 
and, um, and, and follow the target uh, in a parallel motion like they would be doing if they were doing coward. And I'm going to ask Eve, looking over her head, to back up. Not a lot of pressure. I do it as lightly as I can. Light hands. All right. Now, I'm going to, we'll see how this ATV works. It has rained in the last few days, so the ground may be a little soft in places, but if we don't have any kind of a slope to deal with, it'll probably work. And once again, notice that we have some chains on the back wheel on the right side so that uh, if we do start having traction problems, the driver of the ATV will try to put a little bit more weight on that wheel. And then the, the ATV is such a small um, and lightweight training device that she can uh, sta stand up and pick it up and move it out of uh, any uh, muddy, soft areas. Okay, now um, we're going to work together, uh, my ATV driver and me, and my ATV driver today is Brianna. So she's going to listen closely because I don't really know what Eva's going to say about following this thing. So I'll be giving Brianna instructions as well as trying to give Eve cues and uh, corrections and rewards when she gives me the right answer. Let's go, Brianna, uh, maybe one, two, three rail lengths. Each rail length is about eight foot if all is going well. So I'm backing up. Good. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Now I'm going to have her back up because she went a little bit ahead of the ATV, which under some circumstances when you're working with a cow is necessary if you want to turn the cow. But right now my objective is just to follow along with the cow. So we're going to put the ATV in reverse and go back as many rail lengths as you came. Good. Whoa. Now, as soon as I get Eve um, to swing over her haunches, that's when I ask for forward impulsion. So I'm giving her cues. I haven't had to pick up the double rein. She's been pretty good about not throwing up her head. I'm giving her cues with these split reins. We have a simple snaffle bit on, but this kind of exercise can be easily done with a side pull as well, because you can use a side pull without the metal in the mouth to give the cues for over the haunches, and you can use direct rein as well as support rein. It's a very, very good training tool to use when you're teaching this kind of maneuver. All right, this time, once I get her, I'm going to step back. That's going to be your cue to move. And then it'll be her cue that I'm about to ask her for over the haunches. And then if you see that we're not keeping up with you, try to slow down and I'll try to speed up. But the objective here is not to do anything real fast. The objective here is to make Eve understand that she's to follow this object and do it with the right form, which will then give us the right function. All right, so I'm going to step back. Not an immediate answer. A little bit of confusion here. And Eve often does this. She gives me lateral flexion because she knows that's almost always a right answer. I'm going to pick up the double rings just very lightly. There. Let's go a little farther. Okay, stop. Whoop. Whoop. Again, she went beyond. So I'm going to back her up. Pick up the double reins again. I'm going to back her up and put her head on head. Oh, she thinks she's got to turn around over the haunches, which is not the case right now because we weren't moving. She was anticipating, so I corrected her. I'm going to put her back in position. Whoa, whoa. She's too far forward, so I'm going to ask her to back up. And she's doing it without the double reins, which is good. Now let's let her rest for 10 seconds, whatever, get her relaxed. I'm going to pick up the double reins again when I ask for back. I'm going to go over the haunches, and you go back as far as you came. Whoa. She's going too far, so keep going, keep going. It's her job to keep up with this moving object, whatever speed it's going. Whoa. I like that. That was real good. 
But you can see we have a lot of repetition to do here. A lot, so that Eve understands the right answer. Is she stressed? Not, not at all. She's licking her lips, her head is slow, she's blinking her eyes, her ears are listening to me. This ATV, which is a training device, is not an obstacle that scares her, which is good. And we did our job, we did our homework very well, we got her desensitized to the object. But now, our job is, with repetition, persistence, patience, confidence, make her understand that she's to follow the object. In other words, sensitize her to what this moving object is in this athletic event. Let's do it again, I like it. Back. Good, good. Whoa, whoa. She went beyond again. There, I'm getting her to back with vigor. Good. I'm picking up the double reins. Okay, you might go slower backwards, but that's okay. I'm going to back up and around. Yes, and I'm asking her to slow down. No, I'm getting resistance. There, there. Now she's understanding. Whoa, no, she still went beyond. The right answer right now would be to follow the slow moving object as slow as it's going without resistance. That's the right answer I'm seeking. And when I get it, being that this is a lesson we haven't had in quite a while due to bad weather, when I get it, we're going to stop. Because very often, if you can stop on a good note in trying to get the right answer, you'll get it much more consistently in the next session than you would if you kept trying to do it in this session. Okay, so we're going to do it again. I do have the double reins in my hand. And Ryan, can you um, zoom in here, see how that, if you can, through the rails, see how that's getting vertical flexion. And as soon as I get it, I just stop playing with my fingers. The rollers remove the pressure from her mouth. And it's very, very effective. Okay, so I'm going to look over her ears. Give her the backup single signal over the haunches. Good. Whoa. I got a good whoa that time. I hope we can get it going back. Okay, so I'm going to back up over the haunches. Good, let's go back to the middle, back up, over the haunches, whoa, oh that was perfect, I'm really happy with that, and I'm not even going to try to go back, I'm just moving her away from the moving object, the lesson is done today, and the reason that I'm not is we are having traction problems going in reverse, it's a little bit harder to make it um, uh, travel properly on this wet wet sanded soil in reverse, so we'll wait for a drier day. Um, but I'm stopping on a good note, and I'm proud to say that I felt that Eve was following and rating this moving object quite well, considering where she is in her training. Now we show you my youngest mare, Sadie, working an exercycle driven cable cow on a straight path, and then working the ATV over the haunches, as well as around the corner for cow work practice. We're going to do some rollbacks without the moving object, without the cable cow moving, and then we're going to try some rollbacks with it moving. Very nice, Katie. That was a nice rollback. Good. We go 45 degrees into the fence, and then we ask for a step or two back. And then we ask for over the haunches and then follow the parallel fence or the parallel moving object. Let's try this now. Let's uh, have you go 45 degrees to the fence. Do it right now and then go back to the other side of the fence and then we're going to try it with the moving object. Good. We're getting away from those U-turns which was what Sadie used to do a lot when we asked for her to roll back, which of course is not a rollback. Okay, now as you come this way, I'm going to move the object with you if she's behaving. 
Good. Speed up a little bit. Good. Okay. If you do a good rollback, I'm going to go southward with the moving object. Nice. Nice. Now we're a little closer to the fence than I usually do when we do this kind of exercise. So next time, stay a little farther away. Good. Oh, much nicer. Look at that. Okay, now come back into the fence at 45 degrees and I'll go southward. As soon as I see you going along the fence with a horse that has confidence. Good, and that's a good distance. And stop now. Okay, when I see you go back. Good. Not too close to the fence. You tell me when you're ready by stepping back. Good, not too close to the fence. Okay. Forty-five degrees, and then as you come by, I'll move it. And we'll stop in the middle of the arena this time. That's good. That's good. Make her go forward, though. That's good. Session with Sadie and my ATV. Katie is on, on top of Sadie. We've been working on rollbacks and so forth on the fence with Sadie, my youngest Morgan mare. This simulated cow, which I've kind of creatively developed for training here at Minmore Farms, will turn a corner. Not with a lot of speed. It doesn't have to be with a lot of speed at this point in training. It's got to be with precision, with position, We've, and with sensitization without fear. And so you can see that Sadie seems to be relaxed. Okay. Good. And come along with me. Okay, stop. All right, now I'm going to put it in reverse. She might spook, so be aware of that. Try to keep that hind end from coming my direction. Okay, over the haunch. Good. Whoa, good. We're just doing cutting kind of work now over the haunches. Soon we'll try the corner. As a matter of fact, if she backs up over her haunches well enough, I'm going to turn left in the widest part of this corridor and your, your position will be at the hip of the cow, so to speak. Okay. And you have to stay in position to keep that cow moving down the fence. Okay, now you put yourself in position here. What's great about these training devices is we can stop. We can reposition, which you can't do when there's a real cow in front of you. And remember, Sadie is very, very green. That's good. Back her up. Okay. Okay, come with me and stop. Stop right now. Okay. Okay. Now you don't want to turn me yet. Good, Sadie. Very nice. And now she's looking at me. She knows my voice. Okay, now you back off and go back to the middle. And I'm going to put myself back in position. Okay, now as I go by you, ask her to swing over her haunches. Good. I want her to see this thing going. Okay, now you make a U-turn and actually, well, actually go, uh, why don't you just go over your haunches. Good. And then this time, stay at the hip of the simulated cow. Good. All right, I'm going to go forward again. Let's see if you could just go with me okay. at about the hip so that as, my, as the cow moves, you won't be getting ahead and turn it. Easy. Okay, stop. Oh. Good. She's licking her lips. Much better. Much better. That's all for today. The next day with Sadie. Katie is riding Sadie again. 
We're going to do the same drill and see if we can't get her to do it better. And we do have a snaffle on her today. What, we, uh, what we're doing in these exercises can easily be done in a side pull, but a snaffle in some respects, she's a little bit more used to it. Okay, Ryan, move very slowly. The idea of this exercise is not speed, it's precision. Position. All the way, all the way. Direct rain, much better. Much better. Okay, keep going with Ryan. Stop. Okay, let's go. All the way around. That was a good over the haunches. Okay, and then stop and let him go. Okay, and now follow at the hip of the cow. Think about keeping that cow on the fence. Okay, stop. It's position. Yes, very good. That looks real good. Okay, Ryan, try to go past. And Katie, try to do a over the haunches. Okay, and stop. And here's what happened, and you'll see it when you watch this video later. She started to go over her haunches and then she stopped pivoting. She just picked up her legs. So when we're not on camera, you're gonna work on that. We, uh, anybody can operate this ATV for you at your direction. And we can do it here or on the path, uh, the driveway path, the track. Um, we need to make her understand that uh, going just halfway around, going only 90 degrees is not enough to do um, rollbacks. Much better. There was just a few steps at the very end of that over the haunches. Okay, now come back, Ryan. Let's see if you can do it again, Katie. Okay, all right. Well, uh, it was about as good as in the other direction. We're gonna try to get better. Triple W, UrbanCowgirlChannel.com. Here are clips of Semi working the ATV for over the haunches practice and for rating the simulated cow for fence work practice. We think we can show you how Semi, my best cow horse, behaves with this ATV. We're going to do a little bit of over the haunches, then we're going to turn a corner and ask her to rate the cow and stay by its hip as we go down the middle of the corridor. We can't go by the fences right now because it's still a little too soft. Okay, now Ryan is going to start moving out. If, you, if there's trouble, I'll ask him to stop. Semi was following the ATV with little direction from the rider. Good, now go back. Semi understood that she was to go over her haunches to follow the ATV. This is my Australian saddle that's here on loan. It's got some knee pads here that help me stay in the saddle, but we're not doing work fast enough to need a horn. Let's do it again, Ryan, and this time, Semi's starting to get the idea what her job is. This is like a flag, but it's a flag that goes around the corner without having cables. Notice that Semi picked up speed as the ATV picked up speed. Stay up with it. I'd like to actually try it again. Same drill. Repetition. Although the rider was wearing spurs, it wasn't necessary to use them. Semi knew to follow the object by going over the haunches. Just sat in my pockets, put my feet a little bit forward. The stops were easy. The reins weren't necessary. Notice how Semi swings all the way over her haunches. That's because of all of the practice we've been doing. Now the next time, when we get to three rails or so down, before it starts getting slopey, because in this kind of ground you can't do a slope with this ATV, it just doesn't have enough power. Ryan is going to turn left and come back down the center of this corridor, but on this side of the center. And I'm going to ask Semi, without working over her haunches, just to rate the corner and then stay at the hip of the simulated cow, because that is the drill that a horse who's doing cow work down the fence has to learn. Remember, this is training. If it doesn't uh, go the way we want, we just 
ask our training tool to do it differently. And we're going to do a whole lot of this before we use my little mini cattle come the spring. Because you can't always stop them when you want to. You have to have a horse that's ready to do the drill and to know what the right answer is. Okay, Ryan? This time you're going to go left, staying in the middle. Again, Semi followed the ATV, she raided the cow, and she was light in the reins. Little bit soft here, a little bit slopey, but we got it to move. Okay, stop. And now Semi is learning. She hasn't done this before. She's learning what her job is, where her position is. This is position training, not speed. We're not interested in boing, 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 boing like you do with a cow horse. Not yet, and certainly not with this ATV because it doesn't move fast enough. But it's a great tool for giving you position training and uh, the ability to rate a moving object. Okay, now, Ryan, I'm going to back off. When you come around, we're going to try that same drill again. Give Sammy the benefit of repetition, the same request. She's being real light, by the way. Not sure you can tell that from where you're watching, but she is, and I feel really good about it. Okay, now I'm going to ask her to side pass over. Whoop. Okay, go ahead, Ryan. Unlike Sadie and Eve, who haven't had as much coward practice as Semi, Semi lightly, smoothly went all the way around over her haunches. Good. She did do a little haunches work there because she knew she needed to follow this moving object as it went around the corner, and she chose to do the, over the haunches because we didn't quite have enough room here to make a U-turn and rate the moving object, which is okay with me. I want her to be thinking. I want her to make decisions. And that's one of the reasons I really like to do cow work rather than reining. Because in reining, pretty much the rider tells the horse what to do. In cow work, there's a give and take, a think on both sides, get the job done as long as they know what the job is. Hope you enjoyed this show. and. We will be doing some repetition with all three of my Morgans and looking forward to doing it in the spring with my mini cows, which can be kept on a small property. And that's what's so very special about like, my miniature zebu cattle. Our cast of characters, Sadie and Eve. Sammy. Rusty. for calf Sila. For more information, www.cowgirlchannel.com.